unexpected joy at dawn, Ni and Mansa's journey to the spiritual healer. With a strong hope that Mansa will be cured from the spiritualist recommended to Ni, Ni takes his wife and they embark on a journey to guide us beyond Sai's spiritual home. He prays fervently as the overloaded bus they are traveling in speeds at 80 kilometers per hour. At a point in the course of the journey, Mansa asks Ni to promise her that he will always remember her. Ni not only promises to do so, he also adds that both of them are going to be the loveliest pair that ever lived in the land. As the bus keeps speeding, in spite of its rickety nature and overload, Ni is constrained to request the driver to reduce the speed. Instead of taking heed, the driver retorted that the bus is the pride of the people of the area and that it is not a hers anyway. Ni gives up. Shortly after, Master's face becomes calm and serene. Her mourning is gone and a smile plays on the face. She assures Ni that there is no problem with her. Ni is happy at the development and he sings her a lullaby. Go to sleep, go to sleep, sweet beauty. The bus driver is alerted that a passenger is going to alight at a certain village, but he passes the village by 40 meters due to overspeeding. This attracts blame and counter blame between the passengers and the driver and a group of passengers and others. As the journey continues, the bus experiences a sudden jolt due to the bad road and the passengers stagger forward and backwards. In spite of the unstable movement of the bus, Mansa does not stare. Her breath has become still and her face looks peaceful. Ni calls her repeatedly, but there is no response, and he becomes scared. A passenger tells Ni that the hospital in the village is not far, trying to calm his anxiety. Other passengers pleaded with the driver to take Mansa to the hospital. The driver agrees. Meanwhile, Ni recalls what the last doctor had said about Mansa having a few days left to leave and begins to come to terms with the fact. They arrive at the hospital in Goforidia and eventually Ni is made aware that his wife is dead. Which occurred at 8.40 p.m. Ni is informed of the procedure and the fee payable for keeping a corpse in the mortuary. Ni is confused but remains quiet at some point. He sits down and cries. Later, he is prompted to leave. 